That is so fascinating. And here's a little bit, uh, a little mushroom. Yes, exactly. Like those <laughs> are the variables. It's very interesting as it gets exposed to different kinds of oxygen, moisture, light. Mushrooms, yes. right? Exactly. Mushroom roots, basically. Yeah. That have grown through uh, sawdust and a little bit of hemp fibers because I wanted to work with wa waste streams, basically. And then exactly. you take out the roots and you... I cultivate it. I took basically from the forest, like find the first fruit and then cultivate them in petri dishes. Yeah. And from there, I take those cultivations into a bag with the waste that I have, with the fibers and the wood. And there I let it grow. Okay. And then I made a mold. So the mold for this one, which was an old oil barrel. Okay. And I put in the negative for the seating angle and the little under construction. And then I fill that up yeah. with the material that is inoculated by the fungus then. And then it grows within a week. And so now is it, now it stopped growing? It has dried, so it's not growing anymore. It's hibernating. But if, there, if it rains on it, it will continue to grow. It will change colors, it will change texture. Different things happen, which I don't have totally figured out yet. Because it's living, it's a complex organism. But it's very interesting. It's so interesting. And how did you, how was it working with it? Very challenging. That was really the challenge because there are, like I said, all these variables and working consistently and it has to be clean. You don't want too many competing organisms in there. No. So yeah, it was, it was a lot of trial and error with this one. But it's, it's quite soft, it's like bouncy. Yeah, like a mix of styrofoam and, and rubber-ish. 